Hello, everybody. It is the Punisher on a Sunday. I half expected that song to sound like because I was listening to uh, to the Barracuda song. I found uh, that Hart was on on Howard Stern the other day playing Barracuda Live, and that was great. Good to hear. They're still jamming. They're still jamming. Uh, turns out that song was written because some some dude uh, was very rude to them and called them called them lovers when they were sisters or something. Some recording guy. And so they went into a hotel at night, and they basically had the song by the morning. You're lying so low in the weeds, boom boom. I bet you're going to ambush me. You got me so low down, down on my knees. Now, wouldn't you, Barracuda? Yeah. Anyway, we're here tonight. We got us uh, some scotch. Ebrador. Oh, yeah. And a cigar. Yes, let me go through the board and appreciate the comments on that there thing. We got 111, <laughs> 111 votes, 99% uh, said yes, and some lone, lonely person said no, or 1%, could be two people. Well, sorry for that person, but the votes definitely have it, so uh, you are out. But uh, if you'd like to comment in the comments and tell me uh, what is the problem with the shorts, I'd be happy to respond. Central Florida in the house. Next week, Maryland, unless something happens to keep me here. What? I don't know what that was in response to, but hello, Montana. Uh, ah, damn it. Okay. Looking forward to the Punisher. Another fantastic live about to go down. See you all soon, Punisher Patriots. Now, how did this happen? <clears throat> how did this happen? Florence Speaker from Florida says she's 85 years old. 85. We may end up having we may end up having two godmothers. Well. Appreciate you watching. Howdy, sir. Sterling, Virginia in the house. Hello from Her Harriman, Utah. Hello, Utah. Had me all confused. I didn't know what show to go to. Well, I did say right away. Problem was I didn't set up, I didn't plug in the the, 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 the new camera. And so what happened is uh, you plug it in and it doesn't, doesn't acknowledge and do a, a gra graceful shift over. Instead, it makes me shut it down and do it again. So I caught it early. Sorry. Here in Wisconsin, 80 for the temperature. Wow. 80 up in Cheeseville. Yeah, I was in the 70s here. Love the Punisher shorts. Not sure if they are notifying me, so I have to fix that. I don't understand this notification thing. I get notified on all sorts of other crap that I don't, it's not that I follow, follow. I follow, but they're not uh, important things. I just tune in when I want. But I sure get all the notifications, it seems. Huh. I wonder if it's <clears throat> it's not a direct notification, meaning uh, precisely when it goes out. Maybe it has some sort of a batch process. And I don't know. I have no idea. <clears throat> it's good. Uh, <clears throat> got a frog in my <clears throat> throat. I'll have to look that up, see what I can find out. Over 150% polling. You can't have over 150% polling. We can have over 150 vote polling, which is now 170. And we got 2% now. 2% of you folks out there just don't like the shorts. All right. Well, you can tell me why. You can tell me why you don't like the shorts. Or, this is the great thing, is you have options. You can explain why, and I'll see if I can improve them, or just don't watch them. There you go. See that? 
I was have answers. I'm the answer man. I solve problems. I don't let problems lie around. <clears throat> yeah, sometimes it works. What's going to happen to President Trump on Monday? Well, that trial is going to start, and we'll have to see. And he's going to take the stand, which is going to be really interesting. But they're not going to they're not going to show it on TV. So all we're going to hear is the the after comments. That's right. Punisher the answer, man. We love your shorts. See you there? Well, thank you. I got a nice pair on today. Uh, no, yeah, my shorts. Yeah. I'm glad you like uh, the shorts because, uh, well, they're, they're, they're simple and easy to get word out real quick and get you some something to chew on. I'm a solution man. Did you like that uh, uh, two-pack for sure? <laughs> Did you see that two-pack for sure? Yo, I was thinking about Tupac Shakur when I said two-pack sh sh for sure. Keep the shorts coming. We love the short britches. All right. Somebody loves the britches. I love the shorts when you're on at night. Ooh, somebody likes the night ones. Probably because you don't have to see this, this whole thing here. You just get to hear it. Diddy did it. Diddy. 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 Here comes Diddy. Diddy. Walking down the street. I love any show with great information from you, Punisher. We have 324 fine souls on here. <clears throat> well, let's see. Since we're just hitting 200 votes, 98%, uh, I will end that poll. Bam, just like that. The poll is ended. The 2%. <laughs> just kidding. Come on. Are people enjoying? Oh, that was the. Oh, the final tally says 1%. So, wada, wada, wada. Look at there. Yes, Diddy Birdie singing. Diddy singing the song. He better watch out for his life then. Better watch out. Ah. Uh, so the eclipse is long gone now. Oh, <laughs> there are going to be some people that love this movie. There's a new movie coming out with a uh, uh, fellow from 21 Jump Street, the one who just, he and his wife just divorced. What's his name? I just literally watched the trailer. It's got Scarlett Johansson. And... Uh, it's called uh, uh, Johnny Depp. Yeah, it's not Johnny Depp. Uh, it's a uh, Fly Me to the Moon is what it's called. Fly Me to the Moon. -da -dun 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 -dun. It's got a lot of great actors in it. And it looks like it's sort of a remake of the old Stanley Kubrick one. So there, you get all your fake stuff in there. Yeah, Woody Harrelson's in it too. Yeah, there's a bunch of folks in there. If, jo if Johnny Depp's in there, I didn't notice in the trailer. Yeah, Channing Tatum's the lead guy. Yeah. And Scar Joe. And the Punisher makes a small cameo. Good evening, Mr. Punisher from Conyers, Georgia, 20 miles east of Atlanta. Well, tax day, April 15th, if I'm not going to file, if, if I'm not going to file, how about you, sir? Tax day, what are, what are you saying? Well, mine are filed. Long filed. Paid out the wazoo. That's that. <clears throat> well, good for you, I guess. Uh, yeah. Titanic sank April 15th. <laughs> what is going on on the 19th? Ooh, ancient Chinese secret. 
ancient Chinese secret. Should we file? Is that what you're asking? You're asking me. Look, you're not going to hear me ever say you shouldn't abide by the law. So you're going to have to make those choices on your own. Because I ain't going to jail. I'm paid up. I'm paid up. Paid up. And I still hated every minute of it. By the way, it's we're we're like, oh yeah, tomorrow. Yeah, tomorrow's the day. That's it. Get her done. If you have to get her done. Punisher feels more confident than ever. Fire the shorts are way very uplifting. Fire the shorts, very uplifting umbrella. I don't even know what you're saying there. But I do see uplifting, so I'll take that. Yeah. Unfortunately, nobody can, can be told what the Matrix is, Neo. It's Neo again. You are the one, Neo. You are the one. Neo is the one. He is the one. <laughs> Edge of a knife. You were right there, and I thank you. What? Bless you, Walter. You just sneezed. Walter just sneezed. Mm-hmm. Checks have always been make payable to the uh, U.S. Treasury. You need a treat? Is that what you want? All right, one second. One second, little boy. There you go. There, Walter got some treats. Jinx treats. Tiny treats. They're fun for a girl and a boy. Did Trump sign bricks? Come on, really? I heard I heard the USA has joined bricks. All right. Whatever. Howdy and God bless. Thanks. You okay? Uh, Walter needs a snack. No, he doesn't have allergies. He's just uh, a little dust, dust in his head. There, he just sneezed. My cat is licking potato chips. I sure hope you're not eating those things after. I ain't eating no chip after the dog or cat licked it. Uh, that's where I draw the line, right there. Draw that line and snort it. <laughs> Punisher coming to us in nighttime was cool. Oh, you mean the short? Yes. When will VP come out? Mystic, you know it. Oh, I know it. DMX, people know it. I mentioned the other day that I have something that will be uh, making a present soon. I had to do a little shifteroo and how in my sourcing of it, but rest assured. You're going to see it soon. You are going to see it soon. Who is behind the Bo the Bowden mask? I don't know about the Bowden mask. I can never tell when they are from. You can never tell when they are from. Can you actually tell us the actual truth except in parables? <laughs> well, that's funny. That's funny. Uh, shifteroo. Yeah, it's a shifteroo. Never heard of that. <clears throat> Heaven on earth coming soon. Ooh, Neo. Very touching. Very touching. 
And we got the parasites. Somebody said the parasites. Uh, some people are not getting by for now. That's a fact. Uh oh. The doves. What's that song about the doves? And the doves come flying. Is it Prince? How's that song? When the doves fly. Something like that. When is heaven on earth coming? I can't take this inflation in Bidenomics. Bidenomics, the big failure. You notice they're not even using that term anymore. Now we are because it was so stupid. When the doves cry, that's it. When the doves cry. <laughs> yep. I love to hear the doves. When the doves cry. And I love to hear little red cause that. <laughs> <clears throat> so, did you see the Friday drop? Talking about my big plan. There's a lot of talk about my big plan, and you should have noticed some special things changing in the office. And I didn't see one comment one noticing. No, not one comment one. My big plan and the MCL. That's right. The master quantum load. Master, master splinter, master quantum load, the MCL. Quantum with a C. <laughs> what do you like that? Quantum. MBL and the MCL. Hello, Mr. Duran, my old friend. Could you be the most beautiful girl in the world? Who? Me? And uh, if you happen to see the most beautiful girl in the world, and if you see her, saw her, was she crying? Crying. Doom, doom. If you happen to see the most beautiful girl in the world. It's kind of a sappy song. <laughs> Diamonds and pearls. Quantum world, I'm ready. That's quantum with a C, Neo. Quantum with a C. I didn't say the CQL. I said, or the uh, M MQL. I said the MCL. I'm down with MCL. You see me. Tell her I need her. The curtain drop. My big plan is vote Biden out. Well, that's a pretty good, that's a pretty good plan. It's fairly consistent, fairly consistent with uh, my big plan. I mean, that's point, point one. Point one. I had some, some, uh, yeah, folks come by the door just yesterday, dealing some politics stuff. They had a nice little uh, stack of things. They even had a sample ballot of who to vote for. And I looked at it, and I looked at them, even with my no soliciting sign on the wall. And I said, uh, looked at that little card, and I said, uh, you've come to the right house. <laughs> it was all Trump. It was all Trump de dump. Vote Trump. Vote for the local elections for Trump. 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 In fact, I captured some video of them outside the local food line on the street with flags flying. That was right before they came through, because I did ask. I said, "Were you the folks over there by food line?" They said, "Yep." I drove by. I will have to include that. I will include that in the hump day drop. Yes, let's see if I can uh, if I can bring up. Sometimes you know how it's so hard to see 
on here. But let me just see if I got it. Hey, do you happen to say it almost beautiful? Where is it? Where is that? Boy, I hope it didn't. Oh, there it is. There it is. Whew. Whew. Moments, music, and memories of Taylor as we gear for the release of the new album, Torture Coast. Don't shake it off, as this channel is only around for one month. So head to Channel 13, Taylor's version now. Are you ready for it? For more serious episode of music and entertainment news, I'm Simon from Hits 1 LA, and for more behind the scenes stuff, follow Cat Serious Sucks and Hits 1. I even set my camera up special in the window just so I could capture it. There's my blinker because I follow the law. Here we go, folks. Look at all that. Look at that. That was nothing but Trumpy Dog. Did you see that? Yep. Yeah. You're funny. Funny how, Jabez? Funny like a clown? How am I funny? You said I'm funny, so tell me how. Go on. Tell me how I'm funny. You said it. God gave us eyes to see the hangers here. Ha, ha, ha. Let. Thank you for keeping the positivity. You know it. Quantum is the next level. Definitely. 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 Indubitably. I see a big enigma basket. good. Hey, that's Punisher at a food lion. Sweet. Punisher got to get food too. Yep. I think that was a Punisher Patriot crowd waving flags as you turned the corner. Yes, I, yes, it probably was. I gave them a big thumbs up as I drive by. That's what I always do so they can see it. They can see. Love, light, and keep her vibrations high. That video will still look much better when I include it on the hump day where you can... Uh, see it more clearly because this thing's hard to see a, a screen in a screen see trump's chick-fil-a oh that was freaking just great the chick-fil-a thing completely blew them out of the water because they were expecting he's going to go into the chick-fil-a and all the the black people are gonna hate him no they loved him. They couldn't wait to see him. They wanted self selfies with him. They couldn't. They was giving him the best Chick Fil A sandwich he ever had, because they know it. And then that one was all over the news all over the all weekend, saying, "Yep, they are wrong. They are wrong. They're trying to. They're trying to present views of folks, and they're wrong." I agree with Jill. The Punisher Patriot crowd. Thank you very much. Hmm. They could see, but did they know who you were? What are you talking about? Who is the big blob off on the coast of Africa? What is the big blob? It's probably that floating cesspool of plastic. Have you heard of that? The great, that great, uh, trash the great garbage island floating around out in the in the water in the ocean it is so big it's not even feasible to clean up it's an island of plastic floating plastic bottles mesh you, everything bags everything you can think of it's so big you see it from a satellite and they say the island is about the size of texas incredible it's actually kind of depressing it's the it's one thing where who who can't agree that that's freaking bad. Yep, plastic. It's sad. Well, I'm not a litter bug. I just had this discussion with a friend the other day. They don't throw anybody in prison for anything. You can literally get away with murder these days, especially if you're an illegal e alien. They don't even consider pulling somebody over for littering. You used to always hear that when you were growing up. Don't be a litter bug. They're gonna cops are gonna pull you over and arrest you. Well, I was never a litter bug to begin with. 
and it disgusts me when I see people flying something out the window. And you know what? Cigarette butts too. I don't like it. Quit flipping your damn cigarette butts out the window. Trash is trash. Put a little, they have, they sell a little container you can put in your car and you mash it out if you smoke and put it in there and then dump it out in your own trash. Would be in a damn litter bug. Not that any Punisher Patriots would be litter bugs, I would hope. I laugh my brains out about what? Jabez? South border is a trashy nightmare. True statement. Grow hemp, the roots, enzymes, and remediate the polluted soils. Oh, my God, I yell at people, throw trash around. Yes, good job. Yell at them. Punisher, I let your ads run. Well, it's probably because you don't have any choice. I don't have a choice either. Ta stopped tossing cigs years ago. Thank you, Catherine. Thank you. That's usually what happens when people mature. And then, uh, and then there's always a subset who don't. I can't wait to pay 30 cents for cheeseburgers again. Yeah, me too. Hell, it was nice to get them dollar, even the dollar cheeseburgers. Yeah. Go get about a three or four pack. Just scarf them down. I laugh about you being funny. You, what are you laughing about? Thank you for the response. <laughs> <laughs> That's my Kamala left. <laughs> Mr. Cork showing his pictures on TV. Who's that? Got a neighbor who's burning burning crazy. You know, do do elaborate. Oh my God, laughing my ass off. Your laugh is hilarious. Isn't my laugh infectious? <laughs> Give me my Kamala laughed. My Kamala laugh. Hey, little boy. All right, chill out, little one. Chill out. Chill out, little guy. Punisher, are we close? We were always close. Kamala, ain't got nothing on you. Yep, old oh, Kamalto. I didn't say that. Uh, hello again from Canada. The MVP. Trash, well, we have a burn ban. Windy as hell here. Oh, well, you don't want to be burning during the wind. Come on. Soon, very soon is a true, true statement. Kamala said in an interview she has met with 150 world leaders. She sure did. And then she laughed. <laughs> she said they're all concerned about Trump being reelected. Uh, yeah, right. That's called a lie. That's what that's called. It's called a lie. Yeah. Yes, I have met with the governors of 55 states here in the U.S. And all of them have said the same. <laughs> All 55 of them governors. <laughs> you got it. <clears throat> well, I even went down to, to well, we, I had to do that. You got around your words. I went down to uh, Mexico and I met with uh, Jesse Ventura and he's down there and he's, uh, he's still doing his thing and and uh, acting all weird and stuff. Yeah, <clears throat> there was rumor that uh, RFK had him on the list, on his short list for VP, his selection. I love how that's derailing crap. <clears throat> Does President Trump watch your show? Oh, uh, he's, he's live right now. He doesn't like to chime in on there because he doesn't like the publicity. But uh, I can tell you, he usually sends me a text. Says so the show's going great. The show's going great, Eric. He said this is going to be huge. Huge. 
huge. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's going to be, it's going to be biblical. I'm just getting started. I love that scene. Oh, I'm just getting started. It's going to be biblical. <laughs> Whoop, whoop. You love what? It's going to be biblical. Yeah. Gerard Butler has a way of speaking, too. It's like, oh, I'm just getting started. It's going to be biblical. Do we have to pay our mortgage this month? Well, look, folks, I wish I could end all payments to all things, but I'm just a caveman. Your strange new world frightens and confuses me. Got to pay your bills. Sorry to say. Sorry to say you have to pay the bills. I cannot encourage people to not pay bills and then to get them into a bigger bind. And then what happens? They'll blame it on me. So I have to say, it's always encouraged that you pay the bills that you have accumulated. Has anybody on here gotten a uh, letter in the mail that said their uh, student loan was paid out? Which totally freaking kills me. How is it that the Supreme Court, the law of the land, and when they speak, E.F. Hutton lists, listens, yet they literally said it was illegal to pay out student loans? Supreme Court said uh, I couldn't do it. I found another way to do it. I knew you would like it. And now he's doing it again. What you drinking? Oh, uh, we're drinking this again. I like this one. It's getting down to the bottom there. Look at that. Running low on scotch. Hint, hint. Uh, and I did slip in a little cold one here because I had to have something to warm up for the show. But since I'm not a guzzler, there's some left. Maria, a lot has been biblical behind the scene. That's right. And the Punisher pulling the strings, making it all happen. Where's your cigar? That's a good question. I see what happens is I get to talk in here. And then by when I get done, I have three quarters of the damn cigar still left. So thank you. With my new liar. Scotch, hint, hint. Yes, boy. There I have sound, finally. Yay. Punisher Patriots from the great state of Missouri. My Lord, Connie, I hope you haven't been just watching this and not hearing all this time. Aloha. Aloha, my favorite guy from Tony Benson, Mahuka. Thank you. Thank you. And hello back. Hey, Mr. Trump, I'm standing by your side. Yeah, yeah. When this is over, I wish we could have a family barbecue with God. That's a good idea. Little boy, you're scratching my leg. You're scratching my leg. Trump, Trump. 
to dope. 82 degrees in Springfield, Missouri. Love you, Punisher. What a great episode. Thanks, to Jabez. I'm probably saying your name wrong. I don't know if it's Jabez, 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 Habez. 88, Roswell, Mexico, New Mexico. Oh, hold on. Now I do that just, <laughs> that just made, let me go back here. Let me go back. Is that what, what, what Florence was saying? Is that what Florence was actually meaning, that it was 85 degrees in Florida? Florence, if you're still on there, is that what you meant? Because I thought you meant your age. So, if you're still there, chime in, please. Maybe I misunderstood. Sure miss my body. Who's your body? I feel all right. Uh -huh. Oh, oh. Trump said he wishes we could have the election this Tuesday. Oh, yeah, that would be great. Get it while it's hot. Okay. Thanks, Carly. Wow. We got Miss Vonda. Well, Carly just deleted her message. Hmm. No, I turned 85 in March. So you are 85. Okay. So we have... Florence is 85, and we have Miss Vonda, your sister, who is 81. There's always room for two. Florida is 85. I chatted with her one time. Yes, yeah, so she just said it above. So uh, happy belated, happy belated birthday, and I sure do appreciate you tuning in. Yep. Yep. Trump for Canadian PM. <laughs> Yeah, he can hold both, right? He can hold them both down. Can't believe it. You're still stringing gullible folks around or that they still believe you have anything to do with any of this. Durham let us all down. And if I were you, I wouldn't want anything to do with. Do with. Thank you, Darlene. What a pleasure. I thank you for your kind comment. Nice of you to tune in. And uh, I've got a whole new thing going there. So I don't think we have anything to worry about. Uh oh. Uh oh. Circus is in town. Darlene gets, yeah, Darlene gets the boot. Yeah, she's uh, just infiltrated in. That's fine. There's probably more than her. She just decided to speak her mind. And uh, what else? Anyway, enough of that. But she's probably surprised that I read the whole thing out loud because I'm transparent. Uh, Florence, yes, I commented a moment ago with a belated happy birthday. So, yes, I see that you turned 85 in March. 85 going on 50. Wow. That means you're, you got your youthful state of mind, and we love it.
And now the end is near, and so I face the final curtain. My friend, I'll say it clear. I'll state my case, of which I'm certain. I've lived a life that's full. I think JFK will be our vice president. JFK Jr. Here I am. Here I am. On a road again. Here I go. Thank you for the whistling compliment. Because I know people have heard my other whistle, my famous whistle. As I'm missing you. I do it better just saying. Well, get on it then. Post it. Post it. Yep. It's always something. Just a little patience. Yeah, now I'm going to uh, have to eliminate my whistling and my singing from all future shows because John Bray could do it better. Your whistle must be wet. Dude, switch from ETOH to THC. What are you talking about? Yeah, not too many people can whistle. Whistle. Oh, don't worry, Jabez. I'm still going to do what the hell I like. Even John Bray says no. Do you whistle how you work? I do often. Sometimes I'm whistling down the hall. Yeah, and I hate when somebody else whistles a tune. And then you start picking it up. Oh. Especially... When that tune is fucking Wizard of Oz. What is it? <laughs> Wizard of Oz, how's that go? I gotta think. I need a couple of lines. I need a line, please. Line, please. On the 2020, we finally had two sunny days. Free bird, free bird, we know the free bird, free bird. Because of the wonderful things he does. Yes, some jerk likes to do that in the office. I'm like, what the hell are you always doing that for? And then next thing I know him. Whistle, wind of change. I'm trying to think of that one. How does that one go? I'll look at it. I know it, but I can't think of it offhand. Or a catchy jingle sticks all day until you can get past it. I'd rather be singing the Brady Bunch or something. There's a story of a lovely lady. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. We're off to see the wizard. Oh, I love. Follow the follow the follow the follow the follow, follow the yellow brick road. Because of the wonderful things he done. Yeah, I do whistle as well. And I whistle my own tunes too. Sometimes it's just a low volume stuff. It's just like.
hotel, pull the curtain back. Who is the wizard? Why did they extend FISA? I believe that they did not yet do it because not everybody was happy with what they were doing. Whistle some flow rider. Yeah, that with the straps. Oh, we're looking at. She hit the flow. Next thing you know, you should have got low, 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 low. With the flat, flat bottom with the fur. The whole world looking at her. The flow. The flow rider, slow flow rider doesn't sing the paradise one, right? Yeah, living in the gangsters' paradise. Stop spending all our lives living in the gangsters' paradise. Coolio, yeah, that's right. Yeah, he's the one. He's the one that died, I believe. Yeah, he rest in peace. All I all all can see is just you and me. I love Johnny Cash. Well, he sang that. I told you before. He sang that Six Inch Nail song, and now the the guy. It says uh, it's no longer my song. I've done that one before, though. Hurt. Uh, 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 <clears throat> uh, uh, hurt myself today. What are you laughing about? Nine Inch Nails for? Never heard of that. <clears throat> The Ring of Fire in the, in the full prison. Yep. Well, I shot him out in Reno, Texas. Was it six inch nails that we were trying to tell me? Hell, I may have said it wrong. Six inch? No, it's nine inch nails. Come on, man. Really? Sounds better than nine inch nails. It says Nine Inch Nails. What are you talking about? Nine Inch Nails. That's the song. That's the thing. I was right. I was right. I learned a new song. My, my, my funny husband sent me from the sticky sweetheart, sweethearts who had a little glue accident. <laughs> I didn't. What do you mean I said six inch? I said Nine Inch Nails. Go back to the tape. I said nine from the beginning. If not, I'll delete it. <laughs> Sing hallelujah and mess with that song. I did that. I messed with that one time and people gave me all some ration and crap about it. See there, you said I said nine. I was in the front row at the Mint in Las Vegas when Johnny Cash and June Carter introduced the Ring of Fire. They were going to release it in a couple of weeks, so I got to hear it first. Wow. That's historical there. That's cool. Keep on rocking in a free world. I bet you're only wrong about once a year. Yes. The last time when I did, I found out I was wrong. I admitted I was wrong, and then I found out I was right. <clears throat> yeah, big deal. Sometimes I'm wrong, but if I say it, if I if I am, I will always admit it. You saying hallelujah, awesome, give me a break? What are you talking about? I did not say awesome. I said it was horrible. 
And I didn't sing the whole song. I just did the thing. The part. Yeah. Hallelujah. You can rewind to 47 minutes and hear the wrong. Hear the wrong what? What was that song I was supposed to look up on the whistle? Six inches wrong. Uh, say what you're trying to say. I love the veterans. Thanks for your service. And I love all the veterans out there. Thank you for your service and all the fine first responders. I often ask for first responders to chime in but I know that they don't like to show off, so I don't do it too often, but I do enjoy the first responders out there. I need another zip. All right, somebody says I need another zip. I want to dehydrate. Your little dots keep going around your face. I don't know what you're seeing. Back the blue, absolutely. I back the blue. I back the blue. I got a back the blue sticker on the back of my car. The blue flag thing. Kansas nurse, welcome. Welcome to the jungle. It gets worse every day. We drink together. Who are you talking to? What you talking about, Willis? You sound like a bird learning the song. Yeah. See what I'm saying? You don't appreciate it. You don't appreciate it. It's fine. John, you're a part of a Eli Weber crew. I saw that garbage posted last night. Rumors? I don't even know what that hell that is. What's an Eli Weber crew? You are working for freedom. Uh, damn right. Beautifully done, says Jessica. It's good to have somebody in my court. I think I fell in I fell in love with him yesterday. He literally went inside of a part of my soul. I don't know. I don't I don't think he made me cry, but a good cry. I don't who are you talking about? No idea whoever is me either. I thought it was badass. I thought something was badass. Yes, the swamp was pretty deep. Very nice. Heard a lot of people went. Behold. But that's pretty bad when you said I see a whistle like a bird. <laughs> There's your bird. 
your puppy and you love the whistling. <laughs> Say, Walter. Walter doesn't give me any crap about a whistle, I'll tell you that. In fact, when I when I call him back in the house, I will say, Walter, I can't do that whole thing. But all he needs is a little, and that's it. Boy will come running when he wants to. Oops, was talking to Debbie. Are you really kicking ass for us now? Absolutely. Yeah, how many people whistle? Yeah, most people can't even freaking whistle a tune, so I don't want to hear it. I don't want to hear it. Yeah. One of the hardest ones. And some of those ones that get the pitch up there way high. And the only way to do it is you got to start real low. You got to start lower than you, than it normally would be in order to get the high one. That's why you can never, I can never peek out on the, um, on our famous, famous song of this nation. Not even going to do it. Not going to suffer the grief. Mm -hmm. My dad was a great whistler, and that made me miss him so much. Very sorry for your loss. Yes, yeah, some people are very good whistlers. Some people are very good whistlers. I know that I'm just a hack whistler. Don't don't think I don't know it. But it's not too bad. I'll give myself credit. And when I hear the song, if you can hear the harmonics, you must be pretty damn close. And I hear it. I'm so glad I made it for some of the stream. Thanks, Sherry Lynn. Welcome to the to the shoe, to the very big shoe. My father would let out a whistle when it was time for us kids to go in. I bet it was one of those where you could hear it all the way around the neighborhood. I never figured out how to do that one. But some of them do it. And it's and it's like all over the place. Yep. Sorry for everybody's loss of their fathers here. Uh, mine has long been since gone as well. And mother gone too. Both gone. That's funny. My dogs came running to the kitchen. <whistles> hey, your dog's loving the whistles. Hey, little pooch. Want a treat, little dog? Uh-oh. Oh. <laughs> I got somebody here that understands what it means when I say treat. He comes running. That's what gets him. There we go. Let's give you a little treat, little boy. Yeah. So, look. My big plan was... CL, the mega, mega quantum leap, master quantum leap, my quantum leap, my quantum load, the big quantum mother load is coming at you. We have a big week ahead. Tomorrow will be big. I'll report out on stuff on Wednesday. Okay. Punisher, your whistling is better than I thought, says the KCB. Well, what a great, great way to uh, tidy up things here. Because I hope everybody in, in enjoys the rest of their their weekend. Okay. Big week ahead. You know it. Oh, I know it. Somebody says MVP down there. I see what you typed. My big plan. 
Yes, frost. That's right. So don't ever use don't ever use sixes, nines ever again in your life because each time you turn them upside down, they're going to be six. That's a big grok of crap. Big deal. You can turn many things upside down and see something else. Who cares? I have a cockatoo, but anyway, you know it. Oh, I know it. The American people know it. And I have bunches of bunches of stuff coming up. Uh, continue to watch Sudden Impact and the Enterprise, Operation Enterprise. Woo! Things are going well. Heads are rolling. Thank you all for joining in tonight. And with that, we say screw James Whitey Bulger and have a wonderful evening and week.